Hey everybody, thank you for watching. Um, now that I've got now that I've got your attention with the title, um, that is brown adipose tissue. Okay. Now, if you've done your research, and many of you have, this is why you come to my channel, because my channel is purely evidence-based, research-based, and my integration of the research, as well as my experience working with many clients. Um, brown brown adipose tissue was. Um, before it became, it was universally known as basically being just as when we were like babies, we had brown adipose tissue. Then as we become adults, it's like we don't have any. Well, recent research, and probably not that recent, more like maybe years ago, has been discovered that we actually, adults actually contain some, some uh, bat fat, for, short for brown adipose tissue. And it's mainly like in our area of like armpits and around like this upper, thora upper thorax area. Um, but research, most people know that, or, or if you don't know, it's stimulated by cold, so cold weather. So uh, it's either non-shivering or shivering thermogenesis. So it, it kind of stimulates the, either the activity or the um, production of brown adipose tissue. So it's a way to kind of burn fat um, in, in a different way. Now, this video, which is why you, you come to my videos, to get the latest cutting edge, you heard it here first, kind of content. Most people associate bat fat with cold temperature. So if you get like an ice bath or whatever, you, you can stimulate it, right? Well, there's two other ways to stimulate it that hasn't really been universally talked about. Number one is fasting. And look at the bottom of this video to see the study that I'll, I'll list in the description that supports that statement I just made. Number two is cayenne pepper. So fasting and cayenne pepper. Fasting can be done a variety of ways. Fasted cardio, intermittent fasting, you name it. Even juice fasting probably. But, and also cayenne pepper. A lot of uh, fat burning supplements uh, typically have cayenne as a thermogenic, kind of like a stack, a thermogenic stack. Well, why waste your time buying a supplement bottle? Just buy yourself a bottle of uh, cayenne pepper and just add it to your, um, I usually, I just, I just put it in the cap, I unscrew it, put it in the cap and just chug it back and then follow it up with either some tea or coffee and there's my thermogenic, no supplements needed. So um, that's all I want to uh, mention in this video. Um, so if you want to burn, if you want to boost the bat and burn the fat, you've got cayenne pepper, you've got strategic fasting and then you've got um, ice baths or cold showers or whatnot. So um, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to drop them down below. And as always, thank you for watching and tune in next time. Okay, I forgot the most important part. The cutting edge element is not brown fat. Brown fat is, is rare, but there's been research to show there's a new discovery. It's called beige fat. It's browning of white adipose tissue to beige fat. So you, now we have white fat, we have brown fat, we also have beige fat. Beige is like in between. It's like in between white and brown, it's, but it's thermogenic. And th so the same things that I talked about, like fasting and, and, and cayenne pepper, um, can, can imp increase uh, beige fat. But also uh, PPAR agonists, particularly w w one of the top ones, I always say this in videos, I call it PPAR a a activator is uh, sesame seeds or, 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 um, or even hummus that has tahini in it, which is ground up sesame. So, um, so beige fat is kind of the, uh, a new fat. It's been discovered. It's browning of fat. And, um, and you heard it here first. Now, I gather this information from a legendary um, scientist and he actually came and spoke at my University of New Orleans, he, the University of New Orleans. I actually saw him speak. He's a big researcher, uh, particularly with, uh, with genetics. His name is Dr. Claude Bouchard, and he works out of, uh, actually, in my neck of the woods, uh, in the, in the, bio, the Pennington Biomedical um, uh, Institute, or, um, and it's out in Baton Rouge, so uh, I believe, but basically, you know, in Louisiana. So it's like in my backyard, you know, like, probably one of the top genetic uh, exercise science, uh, uh, human, human and physiology scientists uh, to, uh, to have ever lived. He's just, he's done, I think he's published over 1,100 papers or something like that. Anyhow, check out um, 
check out Dr. Bouchard. Uh, he, he presented at recently in, um, at the American College of Sports Medicine's annual science meeting, I believe. And, uh, and, here, and here he is uh, talking about beige fat and, uh, and so forth. So uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy the presentation and tune in next time. My name is John Jakisic, and I, along with Ed Melanson, chaired uh, the development of the, Ener of the Energy Balance World Congress. Uh, with that being said, I'm very um, honored and thrilled um, to introduce our first speaker. Uh, I, I know when I got started in the field, um, Dr. Bouchard was the one person, one of many, but one of the many people that I cited many, many times uh, as, I, as I went through my training. So I'm thrilled to be up here uh, to introduce him today. Our first speaker is Dr. Claude Bouchard. Um, he uh, finished, I, I won't go through this long, long, long list of credentials. I think most of us know Dr. Bouchard. Uh, but as we're speaking here this morning, um, he has over 1,100 publications and counting. So that's a lot of publications. Many, many of them have been very, very impactful in the field. And we see him as a leader in this area of energy balance, metabolism, genetics, and physical activity. And has done seminal work across all of these areas. Okay. Uh also a, a source of metabolic efficiency that we're beginning to understand, appreciate, and on which there's a lot of research going on at the moment, is the, uh, our understanding that uh, uh, we don't have uh, a, uh, two populations of fat cells. We have three, and probably even more, multiple variation on the, uh, the three phenotypes, the three major phenotypes. That is the white, the beige, and the brown fat cells. An adipose cell is, uh, we understand now, we've understood this for about 20 years, is a, a truly a secretory organ. It's an endocrine, exocrine, paracrine, and autocrine organ. And here are some of the excreted uh, molecules. Uh, you can recognize adiponectin, insulin-like growth factor one, leptin, resistant, TNF-alpha, vifstatin, etc. And this is only a partial depiction of the number of uh, um, uh, excreted uh, molecules. So that has a role to play. But in addition, we, uh, we now are beginning to uh, perceive that it, brown fat, which we thought was um, uh, a characteristic of the newborn, and that over time uh, in human beings, the brown fat would atrophy and would uh, be inert. There have been attempts in the 60s and 70s and 80s to measure that, to try to stimulate brown fat with the beta-3 agonist, and, and they were not successful. But in, for about 10 years now, we have new evidence from a, a PET scan uh, data that uh, brown fat exist, and in, in uh, most humans, they, it can be activated. Um, it's more difficult uh, in older people and in people who have metabolic uh, uh, anomalies such as type 2 diabetes, for example. It's more difficult to activate brown fat in them, but in general, uh, in middle-aged people and young adults, it can be activated. But importantly, a new type of fat cell has been uncovered, and it has been labeled a number of ways, but we will use beige in this presentation. And conversion from some white fat cells can occur with the right stimulation, including, including exercise. Clearly, brown fat cells have the highest capacity for substrate oxidation. They are a thermogenic machine. They have an uncoupling protein, uh, one expressed at high levels, and they, uh, upon st uh, beta 3 adrenergic stimulation, they, they produce a lot of energy. But some white fat cells can be converted and uh, display almost the same metabolic properties as brown fat cells. They are metabolically reprogrammed, and they express all the thermogenic markers of brown fat cells. And uh, the, uh, among other things, the beige fat cell 
uh, acquire in, the, in their conversion a higher capacity for fatty acid oxidation, which uh, also diminishes plasma free fatty acid levels and uh, diminishes fat deposition in this area. But Bayesh differentiation can be induced by chronic exposure to cold. There may be a, a time window for this. Uh, exercise or PPAR agonists. And uh, uh, it has begun to be looked at what in exercise can promote the beige adipocyte recruitment. And uh, the candidate molecules are listed here, and it may be uh, uh, not one, it may be multiple molecules that are triggered, secreted, uh, Enhance by regular exercise. One of them is beta amino isobutyric acid, beta triadrenergic stimulation, of course, FGF21, secreted from the liver or the muscle, uh, interleukin 6, hyrosin, meteorin like a myokine secreted from the muscle, and uh, vascular endothelial growth factor. Those are candidates at the moment for the role of exercise in recruiting a, a white adipocyte to transform them into a, a, a cell with a beige profile.